The US dollar index shed about 0.5% on Monday, traded Saturn and less averse to risk, dispelling fears about the coronavirus futures on benchmark US stock indexes are gaining ground. The rally of main US stock indexes is capped without the successful tests of the vaccine against and rapid recovery of the US economy. Investors are well aware of such conditions. Nevertheless, the S&P 500 has bounced over 25% from the lowest levels of March. Optimism among investors rests on assumptions that the pandemic has passed its peak in several countries. Italy is going to reopen factories and construction sites from May 4th. Governors of some U.S. states announced that lockdown would be lifted in the nearest days. Verbal interventions by the U.S. Treasury Secretary also propelled the rally in the U.S. equity market. Citing Steven Mnuchin, the U.S. economy will pick up steam rapidly as soon as companies restart their operation in May-June. Futures of the Dow Jones gained over 1% today, having briefly touched the level of 24,000. The index is to its rapid advance at the moment of opening the New York trade. Meanwhile, the oil market again casts a shadow over investor sentiment, especially on late Monday. In the early trade, WTI shed about 15%, but WTI futures extended losses to nearly 26% in the North American pre-market. Both June and July brand contracts lost over 6%. Today, traders are shifting focus back towards riskier assets, which is the main reason why the US dollar index slipped below 100 points. This decline is likely to be short-lived. This week, three global central banks are holding policy meetings. The Bank of Japan has assembled today. The US Fed is due to conduct a meeting on Wednesday. The ECB is going to announce its policy update on Thursday. The Fed Reserve is likely to confirm its readiness to launch more measures if necessary. However, the ECB is widely expected to come up with the extra stimulus to shore up the alien economy. In this context, the euro dollar pair will come under the spotlight. The euro is still bruised uh, by fundamentals, but the US dollar has not gained momentum yet. Thus, the euro dollar pair could extend its fall to 1.07. The Canadian dollar is trading with a minor dynamic today. The Looney is trading slightly higher against its American counterpart amid the broad-based weakness of the greenback. The USD card pair dropped to the level above 1.40, despite the steep big losses in oil prices. Prices, the Canadian dollar remains resilient. That's all for today. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and keep abreast of the latest events. See you tomorrow.